context, you're able to earn an income even when you're sleeping. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining us today. I am very excited to have you here. So today I have a very special guest as you can see. This is my dad. If you want to introduce yourself. Sure, my name is Bode Odetoimbo. I'm ready to If you follow me on Instagram, I get a lot of questions about investing in finance because I post about it quite a bit. And I always say that I learned everything I know from my father. When you told your mom you're recording, but clearly she does not read. Just wanted to preface this video by saying we are not financial professionals. I'm a lawyer. My life has been about working as a lawyer as well as investing the money from the law. Today we're just going to do a quick basic overview of investing. Who should invest? I think everyone should invest. Mm -hmm. We all start of our lives, our careers, we earn money. The reason that you should invest is that you got to do something with that money. Yep. Money that is not accounted for, that is not invested, will end up being spent. Definitely. The reason you invest is to actually acquire assets that will make you money even when you're not working. Even if you don't have income, mm -hmm. the assets will put money in your pocket. You're able to earn an income even when you're sleeping. Money definitely buys you freedom, but just saving your money in a bank account will only grow interest of 1% or 2% a year. It's pretty much nothing. You might as well put it under your mattress. So my dad always told me that you need to make your money work for you. So to do so, you put it in different types of investments. Today we'll focus mostly on investing in the stock market. The stock market is a market that deals with companies that have been uh, some of them are in their growth phase, some of them are mature companies like the Royal Bank of Canada. You also have uh, growth companies like uh, Shopify. Yeah. Uh, but these are companies that have brought themselves public to raise funds and they give you and I and every other person who's interested in acquiring and growing our wealth an opportunity to invest in them. In other words, become a part owner of these businesses that when they do well, you do well. The next question is when should I invest? So I guess this can be what age or uh, at what stage of my career should I invest? I'm going to use the what I've done and I've done it with my children both Renia and her sister. Um, what we did was right from the time um, Renia was born uh, I started investing for her. Investing for her education rather than actually just uh, buy uh, or pay for her education when she be when she got into university, I, the money that uh, the government had uh, uh, provided in form of uh, a contribution called an RESP contribution, mm -hmm. in addition to the money that uh, my, my mom and myself had actually put in the stock market, it had grown to the point where we could actually fund their education. Mm -hmm. So everybody should invest, and you invest right away. It's time in the market, not the timing of the market. Uh, we're right in the midst of the pandemic. The stock market is having all kinds of gyrations, but you start from where you are. You start with the view that you're going to have a long-term commitment and you do it systematically, you do it automatically, you do it regularly. I'm still me, I stay automatic. Money add then multiply, I call it mathematics. You do it for the long term. You could be losing so many gains by starting a month later or two months later because you think, oh, I need to amass so much wealth before I start investing. No, right now is the, is the best time to start. Where should I invest and where can I invest? You should invest in the stock market um, and there are many stock markets around the world. Mm -hmm. The US and Canada being close to home are places that I would suggest are perfect places that you start yeah. looking to invest. Why should I invest? You invest to acquire wealth. You invest to get out of the right race. Mm -hmm. You invest to give you opportunities to do a lot of things. You invest to stay ahead of inf inflation. You invest to have a good retirement. You invest so that you don't have to work and your money works for you. 
that was perfectly said, um, is how do I invest? So say I am a beginner, I know nothing, how do I go about investing? If you have debt, and I'm talking specifically about credit card debt, mm -hmm. first way that you get a return is paying off the credit card debt first. Yeah. The average credit card charges you 20%. Pay that off first. Yeah. So if, you, for example, you carry a $20,000 credit card uh, balance, your first thing is not to put your money in the stock market, is pay off that debt. Yeah. That's a 20% return immediately. Every bank in Canada has what is called a brokerage arm. In other words, that's the arm of the bank mm -hmm. that will allow you to create an account. The purpose of that account is to allow you to invest in the stock market. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be a bank. It could be independent companies like a... Well, Simple or Quest Trade. Right. Those are independent companies. They're not affiliated with the banks, but they allow you to also trade or you actually buy or invest in the stock market. Also, different types of brokerage accounts, SPs, Registered Education Savings Plans. Mm -hmm. You have RRSP, Registered Retirement Savings Plans. And my favorite of all is the... TFSA. <laughs> Tax-free savings account. Yeah. That's an account. In Canada, we have, uh, and the equivalent, I believe, in the U.S. is called a 401k. This is an account where you can put money in if you've been working and living or you're a resident in Canada for uh, since you're 18. It allows you, currently, it's, as we're, we're recording today, it allows you to invest up to, I think it's $72,000 in the stock market, and all the gain is Tax-free. Tax-free. Mm -hmm. It's one of the few tax advantages that we still have as Canadians. We can do another video outlining the different types of investment accounts that there are as well. If So if you are interested in that, just comment below and then we'll definitely do a video on that. Mm -hmm. I think we covered the basics of investing. I'll just go over uh, a brief overview. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you do is research, research, research. You should consult a financial professional and see what types of investment account is best for you. Um, and what type of companies that you want to invest in. Then you need to open the account. Open the type of investment account that you have researched and it's determined that is best for you. After that, you fund the account. So you need to have a consistent income that is constantly going into the account just so that um, you're not just having the account and there's nothing that you're doing with it. Once you've funded your account, you then can start investing into stocks that um, interest you and then you monitor your growth. You can invest for the long term, you can do day trading, there's many types of investing and we're going to answer all those questions that you had specific to investing in another video. It's arguably one of the best pillars of wealth creation. Anybody who's created any wealth in this, in this, in this world or who's actually good at the right race, real estate, stock market and owning the businesses. Those are three fundamental pillars. Mm -hmm. For the average person, real estate investments, and in this particular case that we're talking about today, investing in the stock market are perfect vehicles for you to get out of the rat race. Nine to fives are good, but if you can also make your money that you're making at your nine to five work for you, then you'll be ahead of 90% of the people around. The interesting thing is that when you're in university, when you're in college, Nobody teaches you what to do with yeah, your money. Nothing. You learn about physics and biology and math and all this kind of stuff, but when you get into the real world, nobody has educated you on what to do with your money. And unfortunately, most people are embarrassed about talking about money. Yeah. They'd rather talk about other things but talking about money, which is very, very critical to getting all the opportunities that you need to, to be able to get into. Mm -hmm. Unless you understand what to do with the money, that money will walk out of your life. If you have any specific videos that you would like to see from us, please leave it down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.